Hi, Ian Williams. Welcome to Williams Warm. Come on in. This is our showroom, uh, so let me show you around. You can see here I got a food technology degree from Massey back in uh, 1990, in the old days. And uh, from there, I was able to get a um, trainee brewer's apprenticeship at Tui Brewery in Mangatanoka. And it was during this time that my uncle said, you know, why is homebrew so crap? So I started looking into homebrew and what they do. And what I discovered was the biggest problem with homebrewing is that homebrewers make flat beer. So then they have to go through this whole secondary process of, 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 process of transferring the beer into bottles or kegs and then carbonating it. So I said, why not trap some of that carbon dioxide, 10% of it that the yeast is making in the first fermentation, by turning it into a pressure vessel and then just putting everything else we need around that vessel. Then we never have to move it. So once you've added all the ingredients, there's not much to do. All right, so this is the uh, what's taken seven years to develop, the Williams Warren Personal Brewery. You uh, take the lid off and, and, and clean the uh, residue from the last brew, and then we fill up with water to here from a tap. Then you add the ingredients. The ingredients are uh, one can of liquid malt extract and two packs of dry malt extract. Close the lid up so it becomes a pressure vessel. And this is the little baby that allows us to control the carbonation on the first day. It's a variable pressure relief valve and I can set the gas. So at least on the first day it's all carbonated, no need for bottling, no need for kegging, and fermentation carries on. And then after five days what will happen is the yeast that's been fermenting will settle down, as you can see in here. So then what we do is add a clarification agent to this pot, just 50 mil, and all we'll do, which I'm about to do today, is close that valve, take this off, and you're left with pretty much clear beer. So there you have it. Cold, clear, perfectly carbonated, commercial quality beer, made in seven days.